Is the Canon EOS R still worth it in what? the year 2021? What are you talking to? The answer is no. What? Let's talk about it. What? Who's that? Is that me? Is that you? Welcome back everyone, my name is Cody Scott, and if you're new to this channel, feel free to consider hitting that like button, subscribe button, or that dislike button, if that's something that you're into. Now, as you heard in the beginning of this video, I believe the Canon EOS R is not worth it in the year 2021, if you're watching this next year, or the year after, or if somehow managed to travel back in time, well then, it would be worth it then, but not now. So, who is this camera for? Why do I believe that it's not worth it in 2021? Those are two perspectives that we need to understand a little bit more. So I'm a commercial videographer, which means I create videos for businesses professionally all the time. It's not very often that I get to take a Canon, you know, DSLR, the camera that I'm shooting with right now, or a mirrorless camera, and just go shoot stuff for clients because they need higher quality stuff and higher quality stuff lands higher quality clients well at least higher paying clients i don't know if they would be higher quality uh a client is a client um either way they're great people so they would look at this camera and it wouldn't produce something they're happy with so consider that i'm coming from the perspective of a commercial videographer. Now, if you are a YouTuber or a wedding videographer or just someone who likes to vlog, then I think this camera would be great for you. So as we navigate through this video, just understand this camera, in my opinion, is not good for professional work. Okay. So who is this camera good for? It's good for vloggers. It's good for anyone who's doing YouTube. It's good for anyone who likes to take photos. Now, if you are a photographer, that's a completely different, like a, that's a very different perspective. And this camera is remarkable for photos. I think it is a beautiful photo camera, but for video, okay guys, I'm a commercial videographer. For video, I don't think it can hold up with some of the other options coming out. The Canon R5, the Canon R6, um, and I believe that you know the Canon C70 is a great option as well. Uh, the Sony a7S III is a great option. Uh, the Panasonic S something, I think it's an S3 or S5. The Panasonic has a really good option as well too. Nikon Z6. Um, there are so many different options that offer higher specs, higher quality for lower price or maybe even a little higher price compared to this camera. Now, it's not all that bad if you own this camera or you're considering buying this camera. There are a few things that you will really love about this camera. So I'll quickly touch on those before I send you guys off, okay? So one of the things this camera is good for is taking photos. I believe it's 30.1 megapixels and it's a beautiful photo camera. Seriously, I'm going to keep it just for photos and probably just keep it set up in the studio or something like that. Um, but it's it's sturdy, you know what I mean? It's it's a sturdy camera, it's reliable. Nonetheless, and I, you know, I shot a lot of my career it was shot on this camera in the 60 Mark II and things like that. Until my expectations of what I was looking for in a camera changed, this thing was a pretty good camera. So it's great for photos. So photographers, this is a great camera for you. However, if you are a video creator and you are considering this camera, I guess it's not the end of the world because great video quality comes from good lighting and good composition. Now, the reason why I say this camera isn't the best because it shoots 8-bit. It doesn't shoot 4K 60, which is fine. I don't really use 60 frames anyway, but you know, I know slow motion is gonna be a big thing for you. So if you're looking for slow motion, this isn't the camera. If you're buying this camera, you are going to be shooting in 8-bit. And for me as a professional colorist, that just isn't going to cut it for me. Personally, I like all of the bits, all of the colors, everything that I can possibly get. So if you're just starting off, I think this camera will be great for you. Something to experiment with while you're learning if you actually want to pursue the career of being a commercial videographer or a real estate videographer, wedding, music videos, that kind of thing. 
great camera to start off with, but as you continue to grow and move into more professional work, this camera just won't be for you. So it is for beginners, it is for photographers, both professional and amateur. And that is my summary of why I think the Canon EOS R is not worth it in the year 2021. Anyway, that's all from you guys. If you found this video helpful and you wanna see more content like this, click the like button, the subscribe button, and the dislike button if that's something you're into. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.